this video will instruct you how to make a lemon create using two flowers. Well, so we're going to cut all the flowers according to the instruction document. The petal that I'm using is from the bee mini flower. So it's used to create the bees or bee flower one, which is part of that bundle. So you're gonna cut everything according to the instruction document. And we're going to roll all the petals up. So place your dowel rod down in the middle of the petal, thumb on top, index finger underneath, pinch it up and roll. And you're gonna do this for all the petals to create two different flowers. So to create one flower at this size, we need 11 of them. And then for the second flower to create the lemon, you need 11 of them at the same size and then two slightly larger. So I have mine stacked in piles of three, two, and then two. So again, you're just placing the dowel rod down on top, pinch it up and roll. This is Bright Yellow Paper by Astra Brights. I like to keep them stacked. I don't normally roll more than three of them at one time. In the instruction docu document, I do provide measurements to create a sm two additional lemons at smaller sizes than this one. And then we wanna make sure we keep these two larger ones separate. All right, so now I'm gonna flatten out the bottom one just because it's our layer that we're going to be gluing to our second flower. And then we're gonna use a little bit of the larger metal ball stylus on our flower shaping mat. Roll the center. So you're just rolling where the petals meet the base. Add a little bit of hot glue. Look at two petals and place layer two petals in between. So it should fall right in between. We're gonna take our next three. We're gonna roll right where the petals meet the base on your flower shaping mat. Okay, and again, we're just keep adding our glue and placing the petals in between. So I get to like to keep rotating my flower. Remember, we're keeping the two. Oh, there's two that are larger. Did I mix, mix up my piles? Do what I did. Oh, I hope I didn't use them. See, things happen when I make my videos. <laughs> All good. We'll figure it out. Need to keep the two separate. And I think I grabbed them. Always when I make the live videos <laughs> or record the videos. Again, we're just going in between the previous layers petals. It's a nice full flower to create our lemon shape.
I'm just rolling the centers. And what you can start to do is fold them up one in front of the other, which allows it much easier to glue them in the center of your flower. Place one in front of the other. And by gathering it, it just makes it a lot easier to place it in the center. So again, look at two petals, look at a petal and place it in. So now we just have enough room to do our last two. So we're going to roll them with the smallest metal ball stylus tool. Roll it super tight. Look at a petal and place it in between. Bring it up and around. Okay, so this is going to be our bottom. So our center is just a little bit taller than the rest, if I didn't mess it up. <laughs> and then here's our top flower. So I already created that. So for here, we're going to take 18 gauge wire. I'm going to cut a little bit, a piece of brown floral tape. So I pull it to activate it. I wrap it at an angle and I'm pulling the tape to make it sticky. So that's activating the glue. Okay. And then I did cut two leaves. These leaves are available in my PhotoFab Paper Flower Makers group or on Facebook in the Files tab. It's a lemon leaf. So we're just going to add some texture to it. So just draw a line down the center and then draw lines towards the center. And then you can pinch the top. And if you wanted to, you can roll the leaves a little, how, you know, however you want to style them. I'm going to bend the stem back. We're going to add a little bit of hot glue. I'm not going to go all the way up to the top. Okay, bend the stem back. Add some glue. I'm going to add a little bit of brown, while that dries for a moment, a little bit of brown marker right around the tips here in the center. You can use ink, whatever you have. Again, we're going to pull off a little piece of tape just to go over our stem to cover that. So I'm going to go down below it a little bit, wrap it, and we're going to wrap up and around up to the base. 
and then back down. And then we're going to use our floral wire cutters to cut off the base. And then we're going to glue And then we're going to glue them together. So you can pull the leaves up a little or down. So this is a much larger one than my other ones that I made. So I will show you those sizes in a moment. Add some glue to the bottom. And now we're going to here. So you're going to look at a petal and place it in between. So just bring it straight down. We need to let it dry a moment to really adhere. So now we have a couple different lemon sizes. So you can do one leaf, two leaf, and you can see the brown coloring there in the center. So you can put them in a bowl. So I have them with my inspiration lemons right here. And then we have a tiny little lemon. So these go great with our um, pineapples that we made. So now we have our bowl of lemons as well. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.